NBC News presents The Flight of Gemini 7, the beginning of the longest space mission ever attempted by man. ...will set a new space endurance record just short of 14 days in space. And if their launch is successful, they will should become the target of the Gemini 6 spacecraft, scheduled to be piloted from here by astronauts Wally Schirra and Tom Stafford in nine days. The two spacecraft will fly in formation through orbit after Gemini 6 conducts, to conducts man's first rendezvous in space. A successful endurance and rendezvous mission by the four astronauts will confirm space planners have adopted a good plan to place two Americans on the moon before the end of the decade. Now back to Gemini Control. Conditions still looking good. Now T minus 90 seconds and counting. T minus 90 seconds and counting. As we proceed down to the final moments of the countdown, the launch vehicle, first stage engines will ignite and build up some 430,000 pounds of thrust. When 77% of this thrust is reached, the launch vehicle is released from the pad. All this takes a matter of seconds, some two and a half to three seconds. That's Jiminy uh, control. One minute and counting. T minus one minute and counting. Jack King, now we go up to Russ Ward on our observation balcony. Jay, the, uh, luckily, luckily the rain has stopped, but it's quite breezy up here where we are right now. We have a beautiful view of the rocket over on pad 19, the umbilical teller next to it. You down into the engine compartment will be open. T minus 30 seconds and counting. 30 seconds away from lunch. There is 25. There is a full cloud cover overhead, but it's T the high ceiling. 20. Approaching the dramatic final 10 seconds 15. of the countdown. Quite breezy now. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Ignition. Engine start. We have a liftoff at 30 minutes and about five seconds after the hour. There it goes. The orange flame now, Plus clearly seconds. visible. The huge orange cloud of smoke around the launch pad. You can hear the roar Great from the rocket. There it goes. Slowly climbing. About half a mile high. The rocket now starts to pitch program. There's the pitch program to put it in the right attitude for a good orbit. It's now out over the Atlantic Ocean, still climbing. A beautiful picture, clearly visible. The bright plane, still visible. Climbing toward that 11,000 foot cloud cover, still climbing. About three miles high now, both astronauts have now released the D-ring. Now four and a half miles high, a mile downrange, now moving about 700 miles an hour.